Welcome. In front of me is a Blue Grand M2 from 2018, and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification screen on this device. So as you can see, the device here is locked, and uh, there was also previously the pattern uh, confirmation, which I skipped both of them. So to begin the process, number one, you want to connect to Wi-Fi, which as you can see, I already am. And from there, let's go to the beginning page, and stop on start and skip. And then you will see the privacy settings right here. So tap on that and view blue uh, privacy policy. Give it a moment. And then the second option, privacy policy. And you get this nice wall of text, which no one cares about. So what you want to do here, just hold any kind of word. It doesn't matter which one. Once you hold it, it will get selected and it will give you this awesome option, share. And from here, Instead of tapping on any option, you want to hold Gmail. Hold it, and after a second or so, you'll get the option to go into App Info. And from here, I'm going to go into App Notification, Additional Settings in the app, and tap on the three dots, and let's go to Help and Feedback. Now, in the search, you want to search for Morse code. Um, oh, R seems to be close enough, so use Morse code, there it is. It will give you the video, tap on it to start loading it. And you should see the three dots right here. So tap on them and choose watch later. Now this will open up browser. And there we go. It switches to browser. From here tap on accept and continue, next, and we don't want to log in, so no thanks. And then in the search bar, you want to search uh, and navigate to hardreset.info. Like so, let's just go. So once you load it, tap on the three bars right here and go into download section. And in the download section, you want to search for Android 8. Like so, and let's search for it. And you'll see this FRP bypass, so tap on download. Scroll down, and you'll find another button to download right here. Tap on it. And let's continue, allow, and download. And once more, OK. And it will download now. And you should see the open button. Uh, now, once you see this, all you need to do is just tap on open, and uh, and I'll go through it. But if you don't see the open button, and it like you, if you go into the download section, and you see that it's stuck at 100%, then what you want to do. And this is strictly for the people that didn't for, that didn't download. Uh, so, if you're stuck at 100 and it doesn't want to finish, go back to here where you get the download button, and instead of tapping on it, hold it and open it up in incognito. So right here, and then tap on download, and it will then download no problem. Now this sometimes happens for some reason, thing doesn't open or download, uh, and you just have to open it up in incognito. But once it's done open it up and then let's go into the settings and enable this go back and install and once it's done you want to open it up and in the app choose google account manager apk install and choose for version 6.0 give it a moment and again same process let's go into the settings enable and go back and install And this time you want to tap on done and you will be back in the FRP bypass app. So choose bypass FRP and select browser sign in. From here, tap on the three dots and again choose browser sign in. And this will take us to the Google browser uh, sign in. So right here. And you can log in using your existing email address. Uh, just provide it right here. And if you don't have one, you can create one as you see right here. Although I would advise it to do it on your PC instead of on the phone, probably will be easier. 
Um, so I'm, I already have an account, so I'm just going to use that. And let's tap on next. And I'm going to put in a password for it. So let me do that quickly. And choose sign in. And you will see this. So it's signing in and then it will just jump us back into uh, FRP bypass. So all you need to do now is hold the power key and select reboot. Oh, let's just confirm that. There we go. Okay, so once the device is back on, let's just skip through most of this. We should be able now to just progress through the setup screen, no problem. Uh, so let's just continue and skip most of it. Once we get access to the home screen, we want to actually perform a hard reset of the device anyway. So you just want to get through it as quick as possible. And as you will see right now, that is normally where you would see the verify your account. And right here it shows uh, account added and it provides the one that we have added right before the reboot of the device. So just simply tap on next and progress further. And we're now in the home screen. So from here, let's go into the settings. Go all the way down to system. And now reset options right here and then choose erase all data factory reset and it gives you all the uh, all the things that it will remove provided here so your google account blah 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 but what we're interested in is the fact that it shows you right here it will remove uh, the account that we have provided uh, it also doesn't actually include the other account that it will remove that isn't provided here but the account is still on the device so if you would reset it through for instance recovery mode the device will be back back into lock if you do it from here from the settings it will just completely remove all the accounts and the device will be then fully unlocked so just tap on reset phone and erase everything there we go and once the phone is back in the setup screen you can then progress with the setup of your device as however you like and the device then will be fully unlocked and ready to use so i'll be back once the process is actually complete And you can see that the process is now finished. So again, I'm gonna go through the setup fairly quickly, uh, skipping most of it, but you can do it as however you like. And uh, the first thing you will see, which is a key difference, if the device would be still locked, is the fact that we can now skip the Wi-Fi connection. If the device would require confirmation, the button wouldn't even be there. So I just choose skip and continue. Next, next. And not now. Now you can add some kind of protections to your device if you want. And let's go more and confirm. Go next, yes, and we're done. So now the device is fully unlocked and you can use it uh, however you like. Now, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.